Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Puyo Puyo Tetris. In the last episode we did a few hard missions. Uh, in this episode I think what I'm going to do is try to change something here. What do we have? Uh, we could change to any of these. Faces would not work. Also we don't even have enough. Let's do dark maybe? Let's try dark. We haven't tra tried uh, any new Tetraminos for a while. Um... Do I want to even try the alphabet? Let's just do retro. Alright, so retro and what was the other one? Dark. Retro and dark. Let's use those just for a change of pace. We haven't changed them in quite the while. Where am I going? Options. Okay, um, and also after the, uh... After the last episode, I... Well, not I. My computer crashed. So uh, I think I managed to get all of the old recording salvaged. That's the great thing about Elgato. It kind of saves them before you actually, uh, before you actually, uh, well, they, it just shaves, saves the recordings until you delete the data for them. All right, so we have a marathon trial. Score 15,000 points before clearing 15 lines. Two companions, too cute. And then there's his shimmering emerald locks. Those magnelicantly curved horns, piercing the sky! <sighs> I forget, did I describe the way his smile makes me shiver? Yes, twice now. <sighs> then I'll describe it a third time for you! Evan! Evan! Huh? Hey, it's Don Kuri Gairu! Uh! Onion! Onion! Well, hey there, Onion Pixie! <laughs> and how are you two little cuties doing? Hey! Excuse me! I was describing things here. Well, just stop. I've heard about the curvature of his horns all morning. I'm trying to talk to my adorable friends and you won't shut your lousy yap! Did you just say to me what I think you just said to me? Look, you're fine. Crisis over. I'm going to go train for a bit. Alone! No lovesick rambling, no monologues, and definitely no more horn curvatures! Okay. Well, he's not happy. Score 15,000 points in 15 lines. Okay, so we're not timed. We should have plenty of time to do whatever we want here. These look slick. Okay. Um. Wow, that's bad. Uh. Here. Get it in there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, maybe not. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Do I want to do that? Eee, yeesh. Everything's looking all ugly. Put this up here. Okay, this is looking a lot better now. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Everything's turning out all right. What do we have? Okay. So I'm gonna make a Tetris, then do a two. Maybe not necessarily in that order. We'll see. All right, what are we doing here? Let's go ahead and do a Tetris. Let's get a two and now let's build up an entire new Tetris just to get the highest possible amount of points from this as I can because I want to show off Eesh. yeah that'll be fine whatever put these here uh oh uh, whatever three that's fine who cares? We still did fine. Three stars, that's all I'm worried about. And for the finale, to the Puyo Underworld. Beat the Dark Prince at Tetris vs. Puyo Puyo. Luckily we have Tetris in this party mode, it should be easy. Precious Harley. Precious Carbunny. I forgive them. I forgive them not. I forgive them. Oh! Looks like we found the Dark Prince before all of it. And he's crying? And who 
totally butchering those flower petals. I've seen this before. He's broken inside. Pee 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 pee. Why are we stopping, Ringo? Didn't you say before we need to interrogate him? I'll handle this. No, wait, maybe... Maybe he... Hey, you, Dark Prince. And who are you? My name's T. I'm friends with Arl. <laughs> are we? T, wait! No! You should not mention that name right now! Huh? Why? You're the one who poisoned my beloved Arlie against me! Poisoned your beloved? Save your breath! You'll need it in the Puyo underworld! Ambush battle! Meep! Meep. The Dark Prince is passionate. You can say that much. Let's get started. This shouldn't be too difficult. Alright. Also... This may be weird, but I've never learned what the use of, uh, that little meter on the right- Oh, yeah, that's right. This is a thing. It overcomplicates all of your Tetris pieces. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, God. Yeah, it overcomplicates all of your Tetris pieces. And, uh, I don't think I can win this anymore, literally because of that combination, right? Y you know what? I'm not even gonna try. That was ridiculous. God, that sucked. Also, I noticed you're you're able to move sooner in, uh, Tetris. Or in Puyo than you are in Tetris. Okay, you see, Searchlight, I can deal with. <laughs> but the overcomplicating all the Tetraminos at the same time as, uh, yeah, drop speed up, that's not gonna happen. See, look at how easy it is to, uh, use this. It's literally not even a problem, doing this speed. I have nothing. Okay. No. Stop. Oh, God. No, shush, shush. Don't be doing things. And of course it dropped it there. Why wouldn't it drop it there? Ugh, no matter what I do here is bad. Here, get rid of that one, at the very least. And he's comboing our pants off. Now, remember, we, it doesn't matter what really happens as long as we get the better score. Which is not happening. See, okay. I did say that it's easier as Puya or it's easier as Tetris. But remember, we did not once get the overcomplicated uh Tetris pieces. Not once on the enemy. Which obviously would have helped a ton. Cause god, these are horrible. Oh jeez. Okay, here we go. We're doing things quick. Alright. Okay. Are we done for five seconds here? We're in first at the very least, so that's good. Uh, I can't get a combo any farther. Oh, it blocked that too. Jeez. We did it. Whatever. We won. Not a problem. Cool. Yeah, ugh. I forgot about the, uh, the big Tetraminos. That sucks. Anyways. Impressive, boy. Indeed, quite impressive. Indeed. Quite. If that had been anything but a Tetris pedal, I would have lost. Ha! Now I shall come at you with my full strike! A rematch? But that's... that's... that's unheard of! Dark Prince! There you are! Goo goo! Oh my! It's Arlie and Car Buddy. I want to apologize for earlier. I was really horrible to you. What? That. Don't sweat it. Talk about a speedy recovery. Arl, what are you saying? Does this mean the Dark Prince isn't to blame? That's right! I learned some things when we ran into Rulu and Chetta. Ringo! Arl! I'm back! Hey gang, it's Amity! Looks like we 
all found each other. Hey, Dark Prince, do you still want to tell us who's to blame? Well, just think about it. Someone is behind merging the dimensions. So they must be powerful, right? But they must also be able to travel between dimensions. Oh? Someone who travels between dimensions? Do we know someone like that? He's laughing at you beyond the clouds. It's too high for you to ever reach. Not in a million years. Alas, I'm afraid you'd need a starship. Good news! We got one of those! What? You've already got one? When did that happen? Yep, and she's all fixed up by now, I'm sure. Well, then, in that case, you'll get there just fine. But alas, I cannot join you. My place is here, in this world. Someone must finish clearing all these Tetraminos. And someone must help rebuild, even if it means all by his princely self. Great! I'm sure you'll handle it. Let's go, everyone else! No, oh, and we can play as Shezo now. And Feli. Not quite gotten the Dark Prince yet. Uh, that completes uh, four one or four uh, Act Four. Uh, with a long little monologue. I don't really have a reason to stop, so let's just continue. We have five one Big Bang beat Sukatadara. Oh boy, this is a character. You'll see. We're back at the crash site, and it looks like the Tetra's in good shape. Wow, they actually fixed her up. Pee pee pee! <laughs> Much of the thanks goes to my new friend, Risukuma here. He was instrumental in the repairs. Ah, don't mention it. It's kind of ironic when you think about it. We became such close friends getting your ship ready. But that just means saying goodbye is even harder now. That's true, but no matter where we travel among the stars, I'll never forget the fun we had. And I'll miss you, S. <sighs> I'll miss you too. I mean, probably. You were a big help fixing the Tetra. You mean it? You'll... you'll... really miss me? Hey, don't twist my words. I might miss you, but not for another week or so. Sheesh. S and Madaro sitting in a tree. Madaro and S sitting in a tree. P U Y O I N G. That's the dumbest song I've ever heard, you two. It doesn't sound so horrible to me. Captain, it is time for us to depart. Right. Thank you, everyone. T take care, T. Ringo. <sighs> Aren't we forgetting one small detail? You are not leaving us behind! Pee 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 pee! But Tetraminos are still falling. And there's still Puyos in the Constellation Zone. This mystery is still wide open as far as I see it. Oh my gosh, she's right. I thought our mission was all over. Sounds like it's just getting started. The Dark Prince said something interesting for once. The culprit is someone who can travel between dimensions. I wonder. T, I'd like to go with and look for him. I have a feeling our part in this mission isn't over yet. Is that all right? You bet it is. Let's get this sideshow on the road. Huh? Y you're coming too? Naturally. You expect me to sit around here all day? Well then, it's settled. Prepare to depart. SS Tetra to the stars! There's so much space out here in... space. T, the being we're looking for is named Echolo. And... He's out here somewhere. Somewhere is a pretty large area. Yeah, any idea where to start? <laughs> um, guys, I think the answer's been under our noses this whole time. There he is! He gets! 
that blob's been staring at us this whole time. That's Echolo? Beep, 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 beep. Didn't someone mention a drooling guy? How dare you sit there and eavesdrop and drool all over? Hmm? Hey, he's getting away! Get back here, Echolo! Jazz fingers! Maybe old Skater Dara's here to turn all your wishes to fishes. I got the swishes, also oh Funkalicious, moving, grooving with our stitches. What the heck's going on? Ah! I hate big ugly fish! Well, excuse me for having some soul, lady. You need to go now! Shoo! Shoo! If you don't go, then I'm going to battle you! Oh, you want a battle, miss? You got one! <laughs> there's... There's just so much to talk about, I don't even know where to start. I'll start with this. Um, right now, it's like thunderstorming and like the entire... Like, you'll probably hear some uh, thunder bangs every once in a while. There was a super loud one. And right now, the sky is straight up like red. Like red pink. Like, it's Blood Moon in Zelda. <laughs> right now. Anyway, let's get started. Sook Tadara. What a fun guy. Oh yeah, we're doing this. That's right. And I messed up immediately. Whatever. Also, look at those classic looking, or those retro Puyos. Looking rad. I can get behind that. This Fade, uh, or whatever this is, uh, I don't even know what style uh, this is, but it looks nice for the Tetrises. It's like a gradient from top to bottom, then like a, uh, kind of square that they usually do. But oh wow, this will be okay. Almost said this will be an easy win, but yeah, we'll see about that. All right, and that's pretty much it. We got one more, cool. I'm pretty sure we're still gonna win because the computer is absolutely terrible at Big Bang. Oh my, wait, what? Did he only get one match? Okay. Yeah, sure. Shoo, please go away. <laughs> please. Please go. These guys are shellfish. I feel downright fish treated here. Hey, uh, dancing fish man. W why are you up here? Not to play coy, but I'm not sure, actually. I was just doing my thing, and I felt something tugging me. So I came. Here's what you do when life hands you a lemon, baby cakes. You shake your halibut, and you dance, dance, dance. Gee, I feel like we could learn so much from you. Hey, Ringo, don't forget our mission. Oh, right. We need to find Echolo. Bye, Mr. Fish. The heck? You just gonna up and leave like I'm some sort of weirdo? Don't make old Skater Dara swim solo! Eat your heart out, Ralph. Oh yeah, we play as Sukadara in the next one. Suk Tadara. Uh, it's only one minute. We have plenty of time. Sure. Oh, he has dialogue. Those cats really left me behind. <sighs> Guess I'm just a big fish in an even bigger pond. Yeah, just me and a sea of stars. And that other fish face. Oh my God! Where do you come from? It is a pleasure to meet you. I am the Ocean Prince. Prince Shelbrook III at your service. Charmed, I'm sure. You see, I was fleeing from my butler and, well, I wound up here somehow. Well, Slugger, you certainly got yourself in quite a pickle. Got any idea where you are? Nope. But now you're here to take me back. This clownfish ain't hearing a word I'm saying. Look, chum, I've been floundering around these parts a while now. Silence! All we need to do is pop some Puyo's fish brain. You pop enough and it teleports you to another world. Now let's hustle! Hi! Guess I should show this honky-tonk how to hustle. This honky-tonk. There's so many things I could quote, but I can't even remember them because another good line comes in every five seconds. All right, we have a minute to get to that thing. Put it like right there. Um, 
What am I going to do with all these greens? Uh, actually, here we go. Put this here. Oh. Is this going to work? No. Um. Blues, come on. Blue. Get a green on top. Yeah, that wasn't going to work. Blue. Boom. 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 That's it. Uh, how far do we have to go? Two? Here. Boom. I'm just gonna make dumb matches. We did it, also. So, whatever, I guess. Boom. Boom. We surpassed the goal. Three stars. Easy. Look at that. Not even hard. Also, the Ocean Prince. Didn't even mention him. New character. Doesn't really matter. Oh, that's it. You... You don't get a conclusion there. Okay, <laughs> they're in space forever. Who cares? A fish in space and then another fish. Inspire their fish in space. Okay, whatever. I'm going to leave it off there. In the next episode, we're going to get farther in Act 5. See you all then. And goodbye.